If you have a footage with a green or blue screen, then you can easily remove out the background in DaVinci Resolve as well. Uh, the process is known as keying and for example, I have this video footage right here. So I'm just going to go around and bring that over here on to uh, the video one layer right here. So you can see that this is what you have and there is this uh, green screen footage right here. So if I want to go around and then um, uh, apply keying onto this, then I can go around over here and choose Open FX Overlay because we are going to use Open FX to key out the footage right here. So once we do that, we go, go. We are going to go around onto effects right here, and over here in the set area, you can just go around and type in key, and over here you can see 3D key is what you have. This is the effect that you want to apply in order to key out any footages. So I'm just going to go around and click and drag and keep the 3D key over here and nothing happens. That is because we haven't done anything yet. So if I were to go around over here onto the inspector, then what happens is that I can go around onto effects and you can see 3D key is added in. So over here you can see that this is the first eyedropper tool right here. You don't want to invert this, you, you just click on this and click anywhere right here and you can see that this is what you have right here. So you can see that as I clicked on the green right here, you can see it filters out green. We can invert that out as well to see the other result. But what I like to do is I like to go around onto the invert over here as well to see how much of uh, the footage we have keyed out. So let's go around onto invert and you can see that it has not keyed out uh, everything so we, we can just go around and increase up the D spill so that it is much more cleaner. But if I were to go to the invert, you can see that there is still some artifacts remaining out right here. So you can see that there are some dots right here and so forth. So it is not a perfect key. So what you want to do is let me just go around onto invert itself. And uh, I don't want to go around and use the despill too much. And let me just decrease up the despill right here. I'm going to go around onto matte finish. And then over here, you can see I can go for uh, black clip right here and white clip. So if I were to go for white clip, you can see that I can go around and then select out more of the green areas right here, just like this. So depending on what you want, you need more black clip or white clip, you can see you can really make the selection more sharper. So I'm just going to go around and decrease the black, increase this so that all the way I don't see the blacks anymore right here. So you can see that it is more of a perfect selection right here once you do that and we know it is a cleaner green screen. So once we do that, I, I can go around onto, let's say for example, the invert section right here and you can see that this is what you have. Let me just go around onto D spill and this is what you have right here. But seems like this is too white so we can just go around, increase out the white clip right here all the way around, let's just go around onto black clip as well. And you can see it's more of a proper selection once we do that right here, invert it out. And you can see this out right here, just like this. So once you go around over here, you can see that this is what you have and you can go around onto other options and then make key adjustments as well. For example, you can increase up the tolerance or decrease out the tolerance of the chroma right here. You can go around over here and then uh, increase up the softness of the chroma as well to uh, make uh, the overall selection soft. So once that is done, you can go around over here onto, let's say for example, any footage and you can throw that in at the back and then you'll be able to see it in the background. So you can see that there's this lady right here and there's the chroma key that is being uh, um, uh, into effect just like this. And then this is what you have as you can see. So you got this lady right here and then everything is transparent as you can see. So that is how you can key out footages inside of DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.